Finally made it back. I have a six, five hour, 41 minute layover. So right now I'm gonna to try to do is figure out if my bags are here or do I have to wait till I get to Guayaquil to get them? Find out where my next flight is at. Oh, matter of fact, I gotta get the immigration crap. Hey guys, doing? So yeah, let's go ahead and get the yeah, get all finished, taken care of. Now, let's take this bag, take it upstairs, and go to the domestic flight area, and I should be okay. We got it. All right, sweet. So, on our way to the second floor where that's domestic flight's at, I'm gonna go there and check in my bags, I believe. I don't know, not sure how that's gonna work out, but I know I'm going to the second floor. Route. Now, where the heck is this at? Let's see. I'm guessing this one supposed to be at. Is that on the left hand side? So, keep looking around until we find it. So, it's currently 1 o'clock in the morning, and at 3 o'clock, I'm supposed to meet him up over there to check my bag in and hop on a domestic flight to Guayaquil. So that's at three o'clock in the morning. Flight doesn't leave till five and it's 117. So I'm about to be here for a while. Like at this point now, I am no longer able to like speak English at all. I just try to come to this airport and speak English to people and like they had no idea what I was saying. So luckily, I was able to use some Spanish skills that I do have and able to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing and figure out where I'm supposed to be going at what time and I feel pretty comfortable. But man, this is serious now. <laughs> no more classroom stuff. This is where all of it comes to work. It's 2.48, you can see over there. Two forty-eight. My flight leaves on Gate A from Guayaquil, just right over there. I do not know how I was able to do that. I had no idea what was going on. I was using like, I don't. That's insane. I somehow managed. I wish I could have recorded all that mess. It was insane. I cannot believe I just did that. I was like, nobody spoke any English at all and I had to do everything on my own. I was sitting there and they were talking fast and I was like, oh my God, what the heck is going on? And managed to figure it out. So, another TSA. See you guys in a second. So yeah, so right now I'm on my way to gate D5. I think all the hard stuff's behind me. Happened to find a flight. Nobody really speaking English, kind of made it hard, but I got through it. So, D5, we should be fine. This way. I'm not quite sure how this happened, but my bag that I checked in was heavy and I added stuff to it and they still took it. And they didn't charge me extra anything. That's just a little weird. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That's weird. Because I know, oh, I always take stairs. Because I know for a fact my bag was overweight when I packed it and I added more stuff to it. But he took it anyway. Yes. And we are boarding the airplane. Just melt. Got it. 
Gracias. Por su seguridad y la de los demás, les pedimos ubicar todo su equipaje en los compartimentos superiores disponibles. Y no obstruye el pasillo, primeras filas y salidas. My final flight is a 50 minute um, flight to Guayaquil and then hopefully um, Ms. Hernandez will be there to meet up with me and take me to the school and I can show you guys around there. So, see you guys in 50 minutes. Alex, Kareen, is that right? <laughs> Perfect. There we go. Yeah. <laughs>